Today's video is made possible by Squarespace. Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. For a free trial and 20% off, go to squarespace.com and use the offer code TOT9. All right, folks, it's 12 midnight, and instead of sleeping and getting my beauty sleep, I'm up bringing you guys a review of the all new Ivy Bridge EI74960 Extreme CPU. That's right. For those fans out there who like really high end stuff, this is the highest end you can ever get. So, with that said, with no more bullshit, let's jump in and let's start talking about today's video. The new Ivy Bridge E4960X is a 6 core 12 thread CPU that comes fully unlocked with a core clock of 3.6 GHz and a boost clock of 4.0 GHz. This is all done by Intel's Turbo Boost 2.0 technology, which also enables automatic overclocking. And with hyperthreading technology, 12 threads become available, increasing performance across the board with apps that can use multi-thread technology. The i7-4960X has 15 MB of cache and has an integrated memory controller that sports quad channel DDR3 at 1866 megahertz. While for reference, the Sandy Bridge E only offered 1600 megahertz. 40 PCI lanes ensures that even the most demanding quad SLI or Crossfire systems have enough available bandwidth to not get bottlenecked like the Z87 platform. For better overclocking, strapping is now back and the BLCK is adjustable in 1 MHz intervals. You can also individually control the voltage of each core and with Intel's new extreme tuning utility, you can easily see each element of the CPU. All current X79 motherboards will work with Ivy Bridge E with a simple BIOS flash. And with XMP 1.3 profiles, you can have your memory automatically set to its best performance values. Those are all the main features. If you guys want to get more in depth about this, please click right here or check out the link below in the description where I have the full blown review where we talk about all three different SKUs of the new Ivy Bridge E. With that said, let's now jump in, check out the benchmarks and rock out to the benchmark song. All right, rocking out to the Human Zoo, the new benchmark song brought to you by yours truly and the team here at Tech of Tomorrow. Every day, we get a ton of people asking about our music that we feature in our videos, where they can be downloading it or where it can be streamed. So we thought it'd be cool to debut a new TOT website that is strictly for our music. So anybody looking to download or stream those songs can now check them out at www.techoftomorrowmusic.com. Now for this website, we wanted something that was simple to navigate, was customizable to our needs, and showed the professionalism and style you've come to expect from Tech of Tomorrow. And we were able to do just that with Squarespace.com. Now what is Squarespace? Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. So fast, in fact, we did this all at the same time we were pumping out these videos of the Ivy Bridge E4960 Extreme launch for you guys. We're multitasking, baby. 
Squarespace has 20 templates to choose from to start you off and is constantly improving their platform with new features and designs. If you run into issues along the way, don't worry. You can take advantage of their 24 hour a day, seven days a week tech support team who are ready to help you get your site up and running smoothly. Pricing starts at just $8 a month with a free domain if you sign up for a year and to make things even sweeter for you, our lovely Tech of Tomorrow fans can receive 20% off along with a free trial upon signing up by using our discount Discount code TOT9 at the checkout. So hopefully you guys really dig that new website. I think it's pretty cool. And now you guys can see the music and hear it whenever you guys want to. Now jumping back to the conclusion of this review and this thing, we've only brought you the comparisons between the Sandy Bridge and the Ivy Bridge. If you guys want to see all the stuff about Hazel and stuff, you guys can check that out in the full review that's down in the link in the description below. So at the end of the day though, what do I really think about this new CPU? Well, bring it to the table as far as performance goes, it does bring some performance increases. It's nothing to write home about. And if you already have a Sandy Bridge E system, there's no reason to go throw that on eBay and get rid of it and upgrade. Now, if you have a Socket 2011 motherboard just waiting around and you are waiting to make a buying decision, then obviously if you want the best of the best, you're gonna wanna get the Core i7-4960X. Because if you're doing things like rendering, video editing, music, where you got to store all kinds of instruments, this thing is going to really kick ass. If you're doing gaming, you've got three monitors and you want to have full quad support and you don't want to get bottlenecked at all, then you're going to want to be looking at this. Now, if you're somebody else out there and you're looking to buy whether Haswell or you're looking to go this direction, you have to really just ask yourself, what am I going to be doing with this system? If you're just gonna primarily be doing gaming, very light type editing and that type of stuff, there's no reason why not to jump into Haswell. Now, if you're somebody who uses your system and you wanna make money off your system, meaning that you need to save time by having awesome productivity, then this is what you're really gonna to wanna to be looking for. Out of all the platforms that Intel has, the high-end desktop platform is for those people who use their systems, for productivity, editing, doing that type of stuff. I mean, think about it. The more memory support you have, high processor, all those open lanes, when you're going in and you're gonna take a bunch of 3D modeling and stuff and you're gonna render that stuff out, the better the system, the faster it's gonna be getting done. And with all the features that you get with the new Ivy Bridge E, that's where this really, really shines. And plus, for you Mac guys out there, you guys all know that when the new little trash can Mac Pro comes out, it's gonna contain this CPU. So if you guys are into the Intel platform, but you like your software brought to you on the Mac side, all you have to do is hold out for a little bit longer and that Shiznik's gonna be hitting the market. So there you guys have it. Now, this CPU, is going to come to market at about $990. I know people are going to scream, yell, scream and yell, scream and yell, but I'm going to tell you right now, you guys know we bought that FX 9590 CPU, okay? It actually cost almost the identical amount as this CPU. And I'm going to tell you right now, you'll see there's no comparison at all. No way at all. This CPU eats it up, spits it out, and would make AMD want to go crawling home just going what happened here but that's a whole nother can of wax so at the end of the day folks if you're going to jump into something and you're somebody who wants productivity this might be the system you want to look for 1080p gaming save yourself some money get haswell also you guys want to see the full in-depth review scores against haswell and more in-depth information then check out that link down there below the like button in the description box where we'll have all that stuff for you so for those people who like to read you'll be in on it. We also have more videos. We'll be bringing you our test systems and they'll be bringing you another video of Haswell versus Ivy Bridge E. I'm Elric. Thanks for staying up in the middle of the night with me and seeing these videos. I'm off to get a little bit of sleep. 